What's your favorite? You like smoked or just plain? I don't like turkey. <laughs> Special thanks to H-E-B for sponsoring this video. Hey guys, what's up? It's Raven and Chef Tony, my mom. We are in my kitchen today because it is the day before Thanksgiving and I'm a little nervous slash excited because this is going to be my first real time hosting the holidays at my new house. I'm excited, but I don't know what I'm doing. So obviously I need my mom to walk me through this. And thankfully this video is sponsored by H-E-B, which is my favorite grocery store. You guys already know that. You've seen me shop at H-E-B, my mom's favorite grocery store as well. And they're sponsoring this video. So we were able to get everything we need hooking me up so I can be prepared to host Thanksgiving. Normally it would be at my mom's house, but we can't even have it at my mom's house this year if we wanted to because she recently just ordered some new uh, dining room furniture and you wanna tell them what happened with that? So I gave away our old dining room furniture and the delivery date for our new furniture has been pushed back. So we don't even have chairs. What do you, tell them what you have in you. <laughs> I have Raven's old chairs. It's a total mismatch with my old chairs, which are super uncomfortable, not even enough chairs. Long story short, she ain't got no furniture in her house, so we are not hosting Thanksgiving at her house. Plus, we had kind of already decided that we're passing the torch down to me now, I guess. I've got the most space to entertain, and I wanna use my house for entertaining. That's part of the reason why I got this house is to host my family and everything. So as I said, it's the day before Thanksgiving today. Y'all probably do this at your house too. Thanksgiving is a big, a lot of hoopla so you got to start the day before and of course mom has to teach me how to how to do this so we're actually going to be cooking some of my family's favorite recipes she's going to teach me i need to learn which i normally always help with thanksgiving anyway it's not like i'm just completely incompetent but i definitely don't know how to make these recipes so she's going to teach me as well as I wanted to do a really nice Thanksgiving holiday tablescape on my dining table. And we just wanna get everything prepped and prepared and get some of the dishes out of the way. So we're gonna show you that. So obviously you guys know H-E-B is my go-to grocery store to obviously get all my groceries. And also their curbside pickup comes in clutch when I have Zaya and I just wanna pull up and get all my groceries straight into the car. But you may not know that H-E-B is also a great one-stop shop for all types of like kitchen, gadgets, small appliances, serving platters, all those types of things that you need for entertaining, which I do not have a lot of because I'm new to this whole entertaining thing. So H-E-B came in clutch with giving me everything I need, not only the food, but all of the kitchenware, like I said. So I've got everything from like oven mitts to bakeware, cute holiday, you know, fall themed stuff, as well as just all the utensils and gadgets you need like this a whole bar set, wine glasses, tongs, little tools, a whole instant pot from H-E-B, plates, bowls, knives, forks, just everything you need. So first things first, I wanna start with the table setting. I've got the perfect size table to host at. That's why I got this table, which also actually expands. I don't think we'll need to expand it for Thanksgiving. We'll see, but I definitely wanted to put a runner and like actually do a full table setting. We actually don't normally do that, but I'm including my own new traditions into the family. You know, I'm all about aesthetic. So this is Raven's new tradition for Raven's Thanksgiving. We gonna do a formal place setting. So I think step one is to put the runner down, right? Yeah. It's got this cute runner. It's got a little bit of a gold detail on it. I'm gonna move this, cause we're not gonna use this. Make it look fancy. And then, of course it's Thanksgiving, so you gotta have a pumpkin. This is a real pumpkin that I actually got around Halloween. And I kept it and it's in perfect shape still. So that's gonna be the main centerpiece and we're gonna build around it. So like I said, H-E-B has everything, not just the food. So I was actually able to get some additional dinner plates, salad plates, and bowls, which match the set that I already have, but I just didn't have enough to serve and actually entertain all these people. So I picked up some more to fill out my collection. And then I got these really cute copper chargers and really, really cute copper silverware forks and knives. We've got cloth napkins. Look at these little napkins. With a nice fall print with the pumpkins and it's even mint green. Matches my aesthetic with these napkins. And then I've also got these placemats. So I guess I'll put the placemats first. So 
next up would be these cute chargers from H-E-B. You know I gotta add in some metallic, some glam. And like I said, the perfect plates that I needed. Also from H-E-B. You can't go wrong with plain white plates because you can dress it up, dress it down. You can use it for every day. You can use it for Thanksgiving. You can use it for Christmas. You can use it for a birthday party. It's just like a good base to work with, I feel, for any table setting. So these will always come in handy. Smaller plates on top. Okay, so for napkins. We have the really cute pumpkin ones that I just showed you from H-E-B, but I also have these plain ones. We are gonna also set the table at the, like do a setting at the bar. That's gonna be like the kids' table. I think you should use the plain ones right here, and we'll use the pumpkin ones at the kids' table. Yeah, because these are a lot more festive and kind of like, these match. Okay, so we got the cute silverware, but I don't know how to do this. I have never set a formal table before, so. Well, this isn't actually formal. I mean, it's not formal, but I'm yeah. to the table, period. It put so. the fork on one side, on the right side, and put the knife on the left side. Are we not gonna do something with the napkin? Yeah, we are. Side? Just sit a fork on like, e that either side. Right. It doesn't even fit. Yeah, it does. Which there. does a, what side? Do you know what side the fork and the knife is supposed to do? No, and neither does anyone in our family. So well, don't worry yeah, about it. I'm supposed to be learning how to entertain. It's properly. fine. Nobody you know cares what side the fork or the knife is I'm on. I'm just trying to be. Do you know how to do any good like napkin folding? I do. I know how to fold a perfect rectangle. That's not what I meant. <laughs> Listen, it's gonna look really cute. Hold on, I have an idea. We got the fresh greenery. See, Raven is is bringing the aesthetic to Thanksgiving. My family ain't never seen a, a Thanksgiving like this <laughs> with the fresh greenery. They're gonna walk in and say, "Fancy." Olive leaf. Take some twine and. Um. <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on. What? Hold on, hold on. This is my idea. I had the idea. I don't think that's how you fold the napkin. Um, that, that napkin was pre-folded. And you probably can put the silverware in there too. If you tie it very loosely, you put like this. Yeah, like I was thinking it was gonna this, be all stacked up. And, and then, then tie it. Like make it a little pocket somehow. I think we need to watch a, a, a napkin tutorial. I know how to fold the um, pocket. This is how you do it. I just watched one yesterday. You do this, and this. And that's, that's not a it. pocket. What? <laughs> you fraud. <laughs> I thought you were gonna show me <laughs> some very elegant, entertaining Listen, tips. I want to do my own style, so my own style would look something like this. I'll put the fork and the knife I'll stick the greenery in there afterwards. I want to tie it with some twine, but I want it to be folded this way. I almost need two hands for this. Some twine, tie a little bow, I'll loosen it up just a little. The fork, the knife, and stick the greenery in there. Do you like that? I mean, it's decent, it's rustic. So, three hours later, just kidding, but we just watched a bunch of napkin folding videos trying to figure out how to actually do this. This is basically what I came up with after watching a video on how to do a little pocket fold. This was my mom's original idea that she just showed. You guys, comment down below, tell me what you think. Do you like Chef Tony's rustic scrunchy idea or do you like my folded idea? I did this, I think I did it right. My mom is over there watching the video, confused. I'm over here trying to teach y'all, inspire y'all. I don't even, we don't even know how to do it, but what's new? That's how all my videos are. We gonna figure it out. This is what we're gonna do for napkins. You fold it in half, fold it in half again into a square. One of the corners, just one layer, make a triangle. Flip it over like a brochure. This is the back, and you put the back to the front, and now you've got a little pocket. Okay, so finally, we are done with the silverware napkin parts. 
I think that looks really cute. Now to fill in the middle part over the runner, I wanted to add some greenery around the pumpkin. This is what we have to choose from. I bought this glittery fake eucalyptus. Which that's really what I wanted for Christmas, but okay. I feel like it could work for both. I found this really cool real greenery. Which what plant is that? Good. It's um uh I don't know. We got I the pine cones. I mean it may be overkill, but what do you want? What do you think you want? I definitely want that. I don't know about that stuff. Okay. Let's, let's just put that first. Like on either side sticking out. Yeah, I'm gonna stick it actually under the pumpkin because they're really long and they're really hard to trim. I would just scrunch it together, okay. Well, it looks like a spider. <laughs> Um, birch candles. Yeah, I just feel like we need something scattered within. And this actually came on the wrapping, but I tied it back on there because, like you said, for design, it's nice if certain things are repeated. So if the twine is tied around the um, silverware, it can be tied around the candles too. Yeah, that looks better. I don't think we need this stuff. You also have these pumpkins from HEB that we could use for like cranberry sauce and. So oh yeah, those are cute. So maybe put like one here. Yeah, so it's like part of the tablescape but it's also gonna actually be holding, like probably put cranberry sauce in that one and maybe like butter or something in that yeah, one. Yeah, butter. Yeah, that looks good. I mean, I think that's all it really needs. That looks very classy. I like it. Wow. Fancy. A real formal, well it's not formal. It's, this is still very casual, but for me, this is formal. kids table, but it's not really a kids table, it's mostly like teenagers and probably just like Zaya is gonna sit in her normal, normal seat over there. So I think we're just gonna keep it simple for this one. So we have these cute placemats and then I'm gonna use the same plain white plates from HEB. And then I don't think we need to do any fancy napkin folding. I think just fold the napkin nicely like this so you can see the cute print. These are the Haven and Key collection pumpkin printed napkins from HEB. I really like the mint green color scheme. And then just regular silverware. I think just doing it like that is fine. So there's that done. I'm not gonna set the whole island. I'm just kind of testing it out because we're gonna need to actually use this area to cook and prep everything. So I just wanted to kind of see what it would look like for tomorrow. And I think that's super cute. Thanks again to HEB for sponsoring this video and hooking me up with all this stuff. I have some more stuff that I wanna show you guys. So for the turkey situation, we've got the electric blade to slice the turkey. We've got the dish to put the turkey in, basting brush, all the things you need, thermometer, flavor injector, the twine to tie up the turkey legs the pan to actually like roast it in. My dad's gonna be doing the turkey tomorrow, so I'm gonna have all his supplies ready for him. Is he smoking the turkey this year? Uh, I think so. Do y'all like smoked turkey? What's your favorite? Do you like smoked or just plain? I don't like turkey. <laughs> okay. So the truth we, is. We're gonna probably make a ham too. We eat ham? No, I think you need to have a turkey because I know other people like turkey and you gotta have a turkey for Thanksgiving. I just personally am oh, like. Well, I think we're, we're gonna smoke the turkey. Okay, so smoked turkey, all his supplies for that. Really cute spoon rest with the uh, marble. Matches the aesthetic of my kitchen perfectly. Also from H-E-B, all this stuff is from H-E-B. And I even got this really cute, it's got little copper details and everything. This is a bar tool set, so everything you need to make cocktails. My aunt is usually the one who always does the cocktails, but I just wanted to have everything provided and set up for her. So we've also got wine glasses, uh, a wine opener, even got jumbo ice cube molds, if she wants to use that, and the little tongs for the ice. Okay, so on to the actual food. Chef Tony, what is the first dish that we're gonna prep? I've actually got the sweet potatoes bacon for your grandmother's sweet potato pie, but we should prep for the rice dressing or the dirty rice, which is kind of a typical, traditional, holiday dish for our family. I'm using your grandmother's recipe, but I found a recipe that uses her same ingredients 
that's adapted for the instant pot. So that's gonna be really cool to do all the sauteing and the cooking of the rice in one pot. So yes, H-E-B hooked me up with an instant pot, which don't you have one of these at your house? I do, I love it. I and it I didn't one. have one, but I've been seeing a lot of recipes with a lot of different like crazy recipes of stuff that you can do in here. So I always wanted one of these. You can saute, steam, sear. You can even bake in here, like make a cheesecake. My mom says she saw a recipe for how to make cinnamon rolls in here. The way I think about it, it's like a combination slow cooker, rice cooker, pressure cooker. So typically, you know, like at holidays, we make a whole bunch of rice for gumbo. I can make probably eight to 10 cups of rice in this without having to have like a separate appliance for rice cooking. I do beans, stews, meat. Fried shrimp, boil up shrimp, steamed <laughs> shrimp. <laughs> Porridge. <laughs> Literally it does it all. So yeah. I'm really excited to have this. I feel like this is really gonna come in handy not only for the holidays, but just in everyday life. So we're gonna use this for the, you call it rice dressing? Call it rice dressing or some people call it dirty rice. Yeah. Which I don't like. It sounds dirty rice. <laughs> anyway, let's just say rice dressing. It's rice dressing. Rice dressing. First thing I want you to do is to chop up this celery. Yeah, so basically it's so pretty simple. Wait, 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 I know, don't tell me. For celery, you slice it down, right? Right. Just one time, right? That's fine. And then you just slice across, right? Right. Like about this big? Yeah, perfect. I used to be a sous chef when I was like 12. <laughs> And my mom had a personal chef business. She paid me a small amount to like chop up stuff. Okay, so we got all our veggies chopped up. Onion, bell pepper, celery, garlic. And then we got the meat. It's pork and beef, right? This is pork mm -hmm. and beef. But how do you do the how do you do it in the instant pot? Like you put this first or Well, typically you would saute the the meat in the and the veggies in a different pan that you'd make the rice separately. But this is gonna be making it kind of like a one pot dish. And I need to say that pork and beef aren't really the most traditional ingredients. Pork and then chicken livers, but I knew you were gonna freak out if you had to <laughs> if you had to touch some chicken livers. So I just we substituted. Can leave the chicken livers out. <laughs> I knew you were gonna say that. I was gonna say we'll just make like the next best traditional. I've never I mean, had a dirty rice with chicken livers. In yes, you have. I have last year. You put I chicken livers in it last yes, year. Yes, yes. Uh, you, maybe it's because, good. I don't know. It is, but I mean, I know you were gonna freak out at having to touch them and look at them. But anyway, so the instant pot is on saute, press saute, and it's heating up. I got some oil in there, and so just put the ground beef in there. The ground pork? This is the pork. It's fine. So just half of it? Yeah, half of it. It's like a half a pound of each. You hear it sizzling? So this is kind of, you just use the pot to saute it in. Oop. And then half the beef as well. Yeah, half ground beef. And you're just gonna kind of get a wooden spoon and kind of break that up and stir it around. Okay, so the meat is browning. Now, adding in the veggies, the onion, pepper, celery, and the garlic. So now I'm gonna add some Creole seasoning and some thyme, about a tablespoon of each and some hot sauce, whatever your preference is. A couple of three shakes, hot sauce. Make it Cajun. Add some flavor. You know, people are gonna ask, what would you, would you say that our family is Creole, Cajun? What would, how would you describe our family culture in terms of like why we do what we do on the holidays? There's definitely a good bit of Louisiana because being on mom's side of the family, her mom and dad were from Louisiana, and so I don't know whether it's proper to call it Cajun or Creole, but... We have know, a lot of Louisianian influence. A lot of Louisiana. So now, typically if we were doing this like the traditional way, this would just be on the stove, and then separately we'd have the rice cooked, and then we would mix the meat ingredient and veggies together with the rice. But for this recipe, we're just gonna put some beef broth and water. 
into the Instant Pot. And we're going to add our rice, uncooked rice, long grain white rice. And I'm just gonna stir that together a little bit. So all I'm gonna do at this point is put the top on. So now that we've got the lid on, I just want to press rice. And that means that it's gonna come up to pressure and after it comes up to pressure, it's gonna cook for 12 minutes. And it looks like the rice is done. So the timer has gone off on the uh, Instant Pot and you can do this one of two ways. You can let the pressure go down naturally or you can release the pressure. Since I don't wanna overcook the rice, I'm gonna release the pressure by pressing. You just keep your finger on the pressure button until all the pressure is released. Because you won't be able to open it. So now you can turn release the pressure. So yes, the rice is done cooking. Let the pressure out, open the lid. It's done all in one pot. Pretty Looks cool. good. And then you said you want to stir this parsley into there. Yeah, fresh parsley. There we go. So then we are going to serve it in this really cute destination holiday serving dish by HUB. Pretty green color, kind of matches our theme that we're doing. Cute matching oven mitt that matches the napkins from HEB. You wanna taste it? Yes. Perks of actually helping in the kitchen for Thanksgiving is that especially on Thanksgiving day when you're starving, because <laughs> you never eat breakfast on Thanksgiving, you get to taste test and nibble if you're helping. Good. It's good. One recipe down. I want another bite. Hey, <laughs> okay, don't eat it all. I'm you hungry. So we already have our sweet potatoes in here. This is like two large sweet potatoes that we baked. And then there's two sticks of butter. How much? Half a stick of butter. Half a stick of butter in here already. No. So, so it works out best if you start, if you just um, mix, it a, mix it a little bit first. That way it won't get lumpy. This mixer is from 1992. <laughs> it works. Okay, now we wanna add your sugar. Two. Let me do oh, it. I'm okay, do wait, it. wait, wait, wait. <laughs> okay, you just uh, go ahead. Add the sugar. Two cups of sugar. Three eggs. Yeah. All right. So I don't want to hear y'all say Raven didn't really. <laughs> Raven didn't really do the Thanksgiving. I did something. Okay, so what we have is a pre-made pie crust over there because. I can't make pie crust. <laughs> my mama can't bake. She can barely make a pie, let's be honest. This is not even, whose recipe is this? This is your dad's mother's sweet potato pie recipe and it's something special. So we found the recipe finally because we were guessing at it for a long time and your dad, I keep trying different ingredients. Your dad would be like, no, that's not it. No, that's not it. But we finally found her recipe. She happened to have passed away before I met Raven's dad, she um, passed away when he was, I think about 26 years old. So we actually found the recipe and she has a couple of secret ingredients for the sweet potato pie. Are we gonna expose the secret I ingredients? I say, cause really she didn't have, I can show you the recipe. The actual recipe. Yeah, so she says, you know, two eggs. I added three eggs because it just tastes better with three. Mm -hmm. But like here she goes, you need some nutmeg and some cloves, but she doesn't say how much nutmeg and cloves. So I had to guess and I had to keep adding and subtracting and adding and subtracting. I came up with a half a teaspoon of nutmeg, a half a teaspoon of cloves. So you can add the milk slowly. How much milk is this? This is a half a cup of milk. Are we putting the recipe down below? <laughs> Uh, we can. We can put the recipe Just down below. exposing our secret family recipe. Yeah, so I was milk. like, add the milk slowly, but not all at once, but that's okay. Just go okay. slow. There's gonna be sweet potatoes everywhere. Okay, that's good. Now you wanna do half a teaspoon of ground nutmeg and half a teaspoon of cloves. Half a teaspoon of clove and nutmeg. Close <laughs> All right, and then the next ingredients are the secret ingredients. Everybody knows you're supposed to put vanilla extract in it, but vanilla. she also puts lemon? lemon extract and butter flavoring. Imitation butter flavoring <laughs> without the cost of butter. <laughs> That's literally what it says on here. All right, okay. so we're gonna put so um, vanilla. two teaspoons of vanilla. Two teaspoons of butter. 
the butter flavor and butter on every pecan. <laughs> and one teaspoon of lemon. Yeah, so those are the ingredients that really makes it taste really, really good. So just go ahead and mix that up. Pour it into the pie crust. It may be a little too much, that's okay because we'll save some for a separate pie if we have enough. Fill it all, all the way, the way up, just about, wait, yeah, 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 about right there. Yeah, since we're using fresh uh, sweet potatoes, it's kind of hard to get an exact science, so what I would do is I could make some little turnovers with that, or... Drink it. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> But this is the perfect amount for the pie. So, we have this really cute pumpkin pie baking dish. This is not pumpkin pie, it's sweet potato pie. We don't like pumpkin pie in my family, but that's okay, it matches, it still looks right. This is the destination holiday dish. It is dishwasher and oven safe, but this is oven safe up to 400 degrees, and this pie needs to bake at like 420, so I don't wanna chance it and mess up my pretty dish, so I'm just gonna bake the pie in the little throwaway pan that it's in, and then when we serve it, we'll just put it in here so it can look cute on Thanksgiving. again to H-E-B for sponsoring this video. You guys can shop these items at H-E-B and check out more at H-E-B.com slash holiday. I wanted to be sure and show you guys kind of what my plan is, my tablescape, and a little bit of the prep because for actual Thanksgiving tomorrow, I'm going to be putting the camera down and actually really enjoying and spending time with my family. I think it's important to take a break from vlogging and really just you know, tune in to the family. So I will not be vlogging tomorrow, but that's why I wanted to make sure I showed you guys kind of the prep and everything today. But I'm feeling pretty confident. I've got all my essentials that I need. I've got my tablescape, we've got the food prepped. I feel like I'm learning. Mom, what do you, you think? We're good? You can do it on your own next time? I don't know about on my own next time. <laughs> I think I will be better at it next time for sure. I think I need at least one more round of help. I'm just saying, my mom loves to cook. This is her thing, so I doubt she's gonna let me just complete, she's not gonna want me, what I'm saying, is to completely take over all this stuff because she likes doing it. So she's definitely still gonna be helping me next year, right? Right. Right, okay. But yeah, that's all for this video. If you guys enjoyed this vlog, give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.